Big time TikTok influencer Mama Tot slash Ophelia tried to do some damage control after her initial video expressing concern for a Hurricane Helene victim sent the leftist portion of her followers into a tailspin as they accused her of being a Trump supporter simply because she demonstrated compassion for other people. However, the damage control seems to have just made the situation worse. Let's get into it. Welcome to my channel, Outspoken Samantha. I appreciate all of you being here. Please be sure to hit the like button, make sure that you are subscribed, and make sure that your notifications are turned on so that you never miss out on a conversation like the one we're about to have. So I did a video a few days ago on the subject of a TikTok influencer by the name of Mama Tot slash Ophelia, and the internet's reaction after she posted a video expressing concern over Hurricane Helene victims not getting the help that they need fast enough. And as per your guys' request, I am doing a follow-up to that video. I do think that there are a few important aspects to how this all played out, and it has more to do with the political discourse in general instead of just being about a woman who found herself in the bad graces of both political parties, which I think is a really impressive thing to do. But just as a brief recap, as I said, Mama Tot, who has almost 13 million followers on TikTok, who has run a very non-political platform for quite some time caused quite a stir when she posted a video saying that she was really upset about people in areas like North Carolina and Tennessee and other devastated communities not getting the help that they need fast enough after their entire lives were washed away by this unprecedented storm, Hurricane Helene. Just as a refresher, this was that video. You ain't mad. Because I'm, I'm mad as hell. You know that mad that you just get so angry that you just cry about it? You're so mad you just cry about it. That's how mad I am. Like, these, these, they have lost everything. Everything. Imagine walking outside of your house and see nothing that, that you ever worked hard for. Just gone. I've seen houses just completely just slide down the mountain. I'm seeing people making videos because they can't find family members. How are they supposed to apply for something if they don't have electricity that does not get their baby fed in this moment? Like, the job they had, the building is gone. Like, how is nobody mad? <clears throat> I'm so fighting mad. And yes, that was the entire video that the left got upset about. So after she posted that, the left came after her saying that she was spreading misinformation and that she needed to apologize for it. And they accused her, based on what she said there, of being a Trump supporter. So my last video where I talked about this, I was mainly focused on the unhinged reaction by these people, that it was weird how they claimed to be the party of love and compassion, yet the minute someone expresses true compassion and concern for other human beings, they are the ones themselves that automatically automatically associated her with being on the right, and they made a very non-political statement political. Nobody on the right was saying that. We were just like, yeah, those are reasonable emotions to have after seeing the countless videos that people have shared of what is going on in this area, talking about how they have been relying on the amazing people from various surrounding communities and charities to take care of them and address this disaster. But it took over a week for anybody from FEMA or from the government to finally stroll into town. And these are stories that are coming from real people, not from the media, but the people who have actually lived through this situation or people that are in the area actually trying to make sure that all of these people get help. Countless people are talking about the number of bodies that they are finding in this area, running out of body bags, how there are countless people that are still without water and food and electricity, and that they don't have enough medical supplies to address the people who need help. And not only that, the countless reports that we are hearing from, again, people who are living through the situation and actually trying to help, saying that their efforts have actually been hindered by those who have shown up, who have any connection to the government at all. And to top it off, they also got to hear the report directly from Alejandro Mayorkas telling the entire country that they do not have enough money to address the rest of hurricane season. Mind you, this was before Hurricane Milton was about to hit Florida and being told that it was a storm so strong that it could potentially shift the coastline of the state. So these are all the things that we are hearing straight from people 
who are sharing their stories on TikTok, giving real-time accounts of what is happening. And these are stories from people that do not have a political agenda. They are just being raw and honest and vulnerable, telling us that the only help they're actually getting are from NGOs and from individuals who are gathering whatever they can from their own communities and driving it out there to deliver it to them. And thank goodness they are. Like, God bless organizations like Samaritan's Purse and other people that have gone out there and the selfless individuals who have donated their time and their money and their resources to get these things to these people because the people in places like Asheville would probably have nothing otherwise. So Mama Tot's position of anger and frustration came from a very real reaction to the things that are happening. And it is a fair question to ask, how are these people supposed to apply for that $750 FEMA payment, which a lot of people are saying is actually a loan if they don't even have electricity or internet? Not to mention, I have yet to hear anyone who has been affected by these storms actually get approved for that money. I haven't heard of one. If you guys know of anybody, please drop it in the comments because I haven't heard of any. The closest I have heard is one person saying that their family member got approved for like $300 and that's it. So the truth of the matter is the response by our government to the situation has been a total failure. And if you care about these people, you will listen to them and not the media. So after that whole thing unfolded and the left started going after Mama Tot, people on the right were actually the ones defending her. Not because we all thought she was a Trump supporter, but because she was trying to bring attention to an issue that needed attention and she had the platform to do it. And people also have the right to express their emotions and their frustrations without having to apologize for it. But the problem was when Mama Tot apparently was so appalled that anybody was actually associating her with being MAGA and decided to start apologizing for what she said and the impression that she gave and trying to distance herself from the very people that were coming to her defense. So this was at least part of one of her apology videos, but I honestly think that she has put most of them on private or unlisted because I can't find them anywhere. So I'm actually just having to take them from other people's accounts at this point. But this is just a little bit of what she had to say. At that time, I, I was not aware of any FEMA help or on the way or had been there. I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about that. It just, I'm just one of those people who get pissed off when I have to see people suffer, you know? But I didn't know anything about it. And it's very frustrating, very frustrating that people took that video and they actually lied on me. They actually said they heard me say that FEMA and the government weren't doing enough. And I never thought that I would ever have to say that I, that I didn't vote for Trump. I thought people just knew that by my actions. I didn't, I didn't even vote for him last year. So, I, I mean, the last time. But when I made the video, pol politics wasn't on my mind. It was just the people. So. so, of course, the correct answer was to not bring politics in this and to just focus on the people. But it was the people on the left that weren't allowing her to do that and that turned this into a political statement, which is just egregious to me. It's despicable. But not only that, she didn't say that FEMA weren't helping fast enough, but she accurately pointed out that these people had just lost everything. So how are they supposed to apply? How are they supposed to jump through this hoop to get even this minimal amount of help when they can't access the thing that they're going to need to actually be able to get it? So she was rightfully upset about that. But Again, everybody on the left took that to mean because she was calling this government agency out for their failures and for their lack of awareness, they're like, oh, she must be a Trump supporter. She's actually calling people out. On the left, we don't do that. But the leftist response continued after she delivered this apology, saying that she owed them this, that she should have made it clear from the beginning, and that it's about time that she came clean about not being a Trump supporter after they spent days accusing her of being such based on pretty much nothing tells me all the time that everybody thinks and sees things the way that i do i love your community i love all communities and i would never vote for anybody that would take anything away from you or from anybody thank you it's about time it took long enough because that video been up for four days and countless amount of people was like okay well if you don't support Trump, denounce him, make a video, say something. 
That is absolutely astonishing to me that, again, she never said anything about Trump, yet they're like, your video calling out the, the aid for Hurricane Helene victims means that you need to immediately get online and apologize for appearing to support Trump. She didn't say she supported Trump. She didn't say anything political. But since they decided that she stood for something that she didn't actually stand for, they demanded an apology because of the way that they took her comments. And not only that, but it led to her having to delve into other irrelevant issues as she had to come out and say, well, I love all communities and I would never vote for anybody that would take anything away from you. She was referring to the LGBTQIA community because apparently they are the only people that we are allowed to think of when it comes to issues that need to be addressed these days. And I know a lot of people are going to say that the right are now doing the same thing, but let's be clear, nobody on the right has ever demanded an apology from her and nobody on the right criticized her for how she voted and we supported her anyway. It wasn't until she basically threw people under the bus who support Trump that people on the right got frustrated with her. But obviously, she can vote however she wants to vote. We never really cared. And per her millions and millions of followers, a good portion of those are people who voted for Trump. But it was a little bit of a slap in the face to insinuate that based on her actions as a good person, that she couldn't possibly be somebody who would vote for Trump because apparently good people don't vote for Trump. Anyway, but a couple of other responses to her apology have also been interesting. So this is from an account of someone named Mercury Stardust and everybody on the left felt that this person in particular needed to be offended by Mama Tot, again, based on their perception that she was a Trump supporter, therefore meaning that she was gonna vote for somebody who was gonna take trans rights away from people and she needed to apologize for that. So this is a trans person coming to her and saying that you need to be clear on these things. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just mind boggling to me that this is where we're ending up again after she was just talking about Hurricane Helene victims. But now we have a trans person coming to her and saying that you need to apologize for how you portrayed yourself because even that is offensive to my community. And that is the most important thing, regardless of the people that are drowning and who are covered in mud, who have lost their loved ones, who have no jobs anymore, who have no money, have no food, who are starving and dying of hypothermia. Recently, you made a video that really shocked me, and I wanted to do a call-in. You said in the video that you are not political, that your platform is not political, that you've never used it to be political, and I think you're wrong. I, I You have. You have. You have used your platform multiple times to help me raise millions of dollars for gender-affirming care. You've done lives to help push people to my fundraiser that I do with Jory every year, and you've helped us save lives with gender affirming care you are political and i know navigating the space which is the internet public space is really difficult sometimes and i get it wrong too and it's really hard to know what we should and should not speak on but ophelia that's kind of the price we pay as public figures and i know there's a lot of good that comes from public speaking from public Miss, there's a lot of good that has gotten into your life because of it. And I know there's a lot of negative too. And it makes it really hard. But there are people who are actively in positions that are going to be affected by this election this year. I know that I don't want to pile on. I don't want to be yet another voice that is telling you what you know you you aren't. But I have to tell you as one of your friends... I was disappointed to see that you didn't verbally say what I know you truly believe. So now this person is calling her out because of their interpretation of what she said, but they're calling her out for not saying something that they believe she should have said. That's how messy this whole thing has gotten. And it's absolutely ridiculous because this person is basically also saying that, yes, while these people are digging themselves and their kids and pets out from under a landslide in North Carolina, that people who haven't had water and power in two weeks who have nothing left of their lives, that yes, while they might be suffering, if you vote for Trump or even appear to vote for Trump and encourage other people to do so, then my suffering will be that. I won't be able to put makeup on and pretend to be a woman. So get your priorities straight. Just my interpretation of what this person is saying, but that's really that's really what it sounds like the message is. And you are allowed to say that. You are allowed to have those thoughts and those feelings and no one is asking you to apologize for it. I just think it's important to point out. But when it comes to the actual Hurricane Helene victims, which are the people that are actually suffering here, not Mercury Stardust, not the leftists who got their feelings hurt and managed to make everything about them, again, not pretend victims, but 
actual victims. They are the ones who need our care and attention. And what everyone on the left is doing right now is intentionally ignoring the stories of real people who are losing hope and continuing to lose their loved ones because they don't have the resources that they should have, that we should be giving them. Working nonstop for how many days? Since the hurricane hit. What is your best summary to tell America about what's happening here? America, the only person that has been here for the state of North Carolina has been Mark Robinson. Everywhere else we turn, every organization, every from every organization is shutting us down. Everywhere we turn, they're putting chains on our on our supplies. They're stopping our pilots. This is all citizen done. None of this has come from any organization. FEMA has never shown their faces to us. We've got no funds. All of these pilots have been out here. We flew over 400 flights yesterday and the pilots paid for the gas themselves. This is ridiculous. Mark is the only one that has stood beside the state of North Carolina. This isn't in the news yet. And um, it's not that they're trying to keep it. I just don't think that there's any way to put this in the news when I try to talk to some of my friends about it they're not reacting like I think they should and it took me a while I was upset I was like why aren't they reacting um and I realized that we do not have a concept for what just happened we don't when they say in the mountains that entire towns are washed away they don't mean just the buildings they mean the people the animals the trees everything is gone that 200 figure those are the people who are accounted for there are thousands of people still missing and they're not whole bodies anymore everything is mixed together in the mud and the sand and the silt i have friends that i'm never gonna see again and the only way that i'm gonna know is just to wait and see who never turns up all right, I know I look crazy, but I really need to talk to y'all about Hurricane Helene in North Carolina and what I've witnessed and experienced in the past couple of days. This is the most devastation I've ever seen in my life, and I've been working storms since 2017, and I have truly never seen destruction like this. I feel like I'm in a third world country. I have not seen one FEMA truck. I have not seen one Red Cross truck. You don't see military. There's no government help. The only help here are locals and the groups of volunteers coming in to help. Thousands of people have died. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds are still missing. We're still doing search and rescue. We're still trying to recover people. Homeowners insurance has declined every claim, so these people are now homeless, sleeping in tents in 30 degree weather and snow. This is so unacceptable. This is heartbreaking. And we need the help here, y'all. We need manpower. We need, we need help. Please pray for these people. So I just wanted to share a few of those because obviously the media is not covering this, which is astounding to me because this should still be front and center news, which means if you are getting your information from the media, you think everything is fine and you can sleep at night because it makes it easier for you to cope. But if you listen to the dire and heartbreaking stories coming out of these states from people giving their firsthand experiences, talking about what they're dealing with, talking about the lack of response, that takes a whole lot more character and strength to deal with. You know, charities are working round the clock to get people the supplies that they need, and they're sobbing as they try to comprehend the devastation that is right in front of them. Many of the comments that you guys have left under my videos have said that you have either been there yourself or you know people who are serving in some capacity in these areas, confirming the utter failure of the government response. This is not political. I don't want to be saying that these agencies are not doing the job that we are paying them to do. I don't enjoy having to be able to point out that our tax dollars are not not actually being used to serve us. I And I also understand that these rescue efforts take time, but do you know how long it took FEMA to respond to Hurricane Katrina? Less than three days. They were on the ground, they were at the forefront of these efforts, and they were there for weeks and months afterwards. And to this day, we are still talking more about Hurricane Katrina than we are about Hurricane Helene. Does that seem wrong to you? Maybe it's because this is what happens when you make everything political, because it means that if people respond in a specific way, that they're going to be 
tied to a particular political party, and therefore they're willing to let people suffer before they risk being associated with a side that they're not on? Could it be because our government is more focused on hating Trump than they are on helping us? Could it be because we have people in charge who are now more than ever trying to destroy this country and everything that we stand for and who have repeatedly demonstrated that they are going to use our tax dollars for everything but to help us. When Mama Tot said that she cares about all communities and she would never vote for someone who would take things away from you, of course she was talking about the queer community. And it's easy to focus on that specific community because they are the only ones that the Democrat and the media have allowed to be elevated as the ones who need our compassion and our focus. But what about the people in Asheville who are dying as we speak because they're not getting the water and the food that they need with the same urgency that a trans person can go and get their gender affirming surgery or how easily the illegal immigrants immigrants in this country can get money for housing and medical care and everything that they need way easier than people who have spent years contributing their hard-earned money to our government or the community of women in this country who are having their sports and their private spaces taken away from them. Because there are a lot of communities right now that are losing their rights and resources because the left has dictated which communities deserve our support and which ones we can't even acknowledge without being called hateful. Ultimately, we know that this is not about Mama Todd. Obviously, she is allowed to say what she wants. She's allowed to feel how she wants and vote how she wants. It was the response to all of this that was just another blatant indication of how politicizing everything has been the main source of so many of our problems. We can't acknowledge when we have people who are truly suffering and call out our government when they fail at doing the job that we are paying them to do without people losing their minds. And that means we can't fix the problems that actually need to be fixed. The media and the policies of the far left have ruined people's brains and absolutely crippled our humanity, making it so that there are people who can actually justify letting these people suffer and ignoring them while they still somehow think that they can be called loving and tolerant, which is completely astounding because that mindset is so far from loving and tolerant, it's not even on the spectrum of normal human behavior. As I said in my last video, it is not conservatives who are driving people away from the left. It's crap like this that is waking people up. It's their own lack of humanity that is driving people away not us. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Please be sure to hit that like button. Make sure that you are subscribed. Keep it real, guys, and I will see you in the next one.